Hey everyone, it's been another two weeks and you're watching a new episode of Corsair's Legacy Devlog. In the previous episode, we showed three new run animations and asked for your opinions. It's been a week by the time of recording this video and currently two run animations are leading with a small margin. You can see the result on your screen. We didn't specify versions on purpose so that they couldn't affect your choice. We appreciate your engagement and participation in the poll, and now we'd like to know which of these two previously selected animations is better, right or left. We'll be waiting for your comments and we also published a new poll in the community tab. In the previous video, we tried a new format. Beside the main topic, by the end of the video we reveal some additional development news so that the viewers would be interested in watching the video to the end. We'll be using this format in every video from now on. We hope our audiences like it. Last week, we finished modeling cold weapons, and now it's time to talk about our plans for weapons in the first Corsair's Legacy game. There will be 21 cold weapons and 6 mass production pistols in the game. We also plan to add unique blades, but it hasn't been decided yet. Each class of cold weapons will have 7 blades. We had to study many sources to collect a credible list of weapons of that time with their accurate characteristics. While analyzing Age of Pirates 2, City of Abandoned Ships, we found out that the weight of blades doesn't correspond to the weight of real weapons. For example, in the game, the falchion weighs 4.8 kilograms, but in reality, it weighs from 0.5 to 0.9 kilograms. In Corsair's Legacy, weapons preserve their historical characteristics, appearance, and weight. For each blade, we tried to find photos of real analogs and compared the end results with them. Here you can see the process of designing the blade over the photo while keeping proportions and sizes of the original weapon. Light weapons include blades with weight no more than 2.4 pounds, that's equal to 1,090 grams. This class also includes the following blades. Old Style Rapier, one of the obsolete weapons, and there's one for each class. German Rapier, a rapier with a swept hilt, it was most popular in the early 17th century. Spanish Rapier Those rapiers began to appear at the end of the 17th century. They were widely used by Spanish and Portuguese seafarers. Italian Rapier Created by the famous rapier master, it looks great on the battlefield as well as outside of it. Small Sword It gained popularity in Western European countries from the middle of the 17th century. Almost every self-respecting man always carried this blade. Poppenheimer it was widely disseminated during the Thirty Years' War and was named after Catholic Leeds Commander-in-Chief. Casoleta, also known as Breta, great weapon for duels. Medium weapons include blades which weighed between 2.4 and 2.8 pounds, an upper bound corresponds to 1,270 grams. This class includes the following blades. Malchus, also called a broadsaber, it's a common cheap blade that's perfect for boarding fights. Grossus Messer, one of the obsolete weapons, one for each class. Cutlass, probably the most popular pirate weapon. Compared to the regular saber, it's shorter and wider and also has a strong guard. The three above mentioned medium type weapons are the most common blades among pirates. Yadagan. It began to be used in the 16th century and started to gain popularity in the 17th century. Despite being known as a specific weapon of Turkish Janissaries, it was also used by other people. Karabela. It practically wasn't widespread beyond Eastern Europe and was kind of a rare and exotic weapon for the Caribbean. Expensive Cutlass. A variant of the Cutlass with a more complex and exquisite guard. Scallop. Different sources had completely different information about so-called scallops. Some say that it's a broadsword, others say that the name is related to the crossguard, and it also may be related to cutlass. We went with the second version. Heavy weapons include blades with weights no less than 2.8 pounds. This class includes the following blades. Bastard. The last type of obsolete weapon, the longsword. However, its later versions are presented. Katzbalger, a short Lanschnecht sword usually used as a secondary weapon for combat in a small space. Hospitaler sword, one of the swords used by the Order of Malta, it's been in the New World for some time. Reichswert, 
A descendant of the longsword, it was used by writers as a secondary weapon. Walloon Broadsword It was widely disseminated in the early 17th century after wars in the Netherlands. The weapon became very popular among Dutch's enemies. Claymore A Scottish sword at the end of its life cycle. Flamberge It was named for its wavy, flame-like form. Pistols Spanish Pistol a short pistol made in Catalan style. At the moment of game events, it's been popular for over half a century. Dutch Naval Pistol It started being manufactured in large numbers in the late 17th century, mainly for Dutch Navy and the East India Company. Italian Long Pistol It appeared in the end of the 17th century and was very popular in Mediterranean countries. Cavalry Pistol it was widely disseminated in Europe in the 17th century, then it became very popular among British cavalry at the time of civil wars in the middle of the century. Engraved Pistol It's similar to the cavalry pistol, but different in great quality and detailed engraving. Lombardian Pistol This pistol became popular among French troops in the early 17th century. It's small, but very heavy, with corresponding effectiveness. And now that we're done with weapon reviews, it's time for bonus development news. Throughout two months, we've been working on graphics and engine optimization to achieve stable and high FPS. Last week, we managed to make good progress, and there is a chance that the game will be available for PCs with specs lower than the specified on the game's Steam page. That's it for today. We'll continue making a dream come true. See you in two weeks in the next devlog.